Hi guys, Mike Dixon from Sounds Bruce Craft. Um, again, we're just indoors. I'm going to run through um, my everyday carry bag. I have been again stopped by a few subscribers whilst out. Um, I do take this bag pretty much everywhere with me. Um, to every job, um, to pretty much everywhere I go in day to day life. Um, it has capability of what people are calling bug out bag, um, or 72 hour bag, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's more about just looking after myself and others on specific jobs I do um, as a security officer uh, in many respects. So the actual bag then is a Pentagon Kyler. And it has a lot of add-ons on it. It's a 20 litre pack. And it does have a three litre hydration bladder capability on the back. But I have added extras to make this a bit more, um, just made it to suit my needs a bit more, I suppose. Right, let's take a look at this bag. Right, so I got it in black. I have had probably about six different bags in the past year that because of my job they get pulled around in and out of vehicles, chucked around on the ground and I have destroyed them. This one, luckily I've only had to do a repair on this strap on both sides uh, just due to the way that I open it um, which is quite annoying. So it does have two straps come along so you can compress just the main section uh, obviously not the front on the side then I have a 511 dump pouch it's quite a large one I generally put this on my belt at work especially doing festival work so that I have a bit more capability when running around on this side I've got a nightstick in yellow which does glow in the dark and has helped me find my bag a few times when I've just shoved it to the side whilst working. On the front then a whole range of pouches. I have a chem light uh, just shoved in the molly. At the bottom here this is a cheap pouch. I have a couple of these. They're good for my belt as well. I have the Leatherman Raptors, if you haven't seen these for my medical role in my job, these are fantastic and kind of take away the need of carrying loads of different tools. So check them out online or I could do a video if need be. So they go in there, in this top part, certain jobs, uh, certain places this multi-tool isn't carried in this pouch but the pouch always stays attached um, I have another place in the side which I'll show you in a minute where it goes um, but it's one of my Leatherman surges with a small paracord lanyard on it have the medical red cross just to denote the front of my bag is medical goods good old blacked out UK flag and some reflective solus tape, which also glows in the dark, which is quite a good feature. I have a lead lenser, P3. Quite a nice little everyday carry torch. This does come into my pocket a few times. And this one then, have some medical gloves. 
black sharpie and a soft tourniquet. So as I said, the front portion of this bag is all medical goods. So as we open it up, it is a bit of a clamshell opening and it falls open um, forwards. Straight away we have a Petzl E light and some hand sanitizer, a buck um, gutter, but I use this for cutting rope and straps and also seat belts. Um, we have some splints, we have my major bleeds kit, my airway management kit, have another night core torch there, have my personal protection kit in the front with some gaffer tape, an EpiPen, adrenaline and some clean film for burns. Have my medicine section here. My chest seals in the back. My vet wrap for the splint. Have a burns kit in this section. A suture kit in this section with a notepad, some spare gloves, and my minor treatment gear in here, which is plasters, wipes, um, that sort of thing. If you're going to build a medical kit, make sure you know where everything is, because when the time comes, you need to grab it. Um, it's not good running through, dragging all your kit out especially all over the floor. That's pretty much uh, my medical kit, kind of covers for everything I do. On the side then, I've got a Petzl carry tool, plastic carabiner, again, goes on my belt if needed, and my Petzl leather repel gloves, fantastic gloves, again, use these for my job. In this section here, there is a zip for the side. Have a Sentinel from DMM and a snake sling, which is used for rescue. And then I have a personal alarm, good for uh, setting trip wires when you're camping. Fork and spoon set. And in here, a signal panel, a signal mirror, and a whistle. And that just sits down in this little sleeve in this pocket. And the other side then, behind the dump pouch. I have the Leatherman bit kit for the multi-tool, which is both sections. I have the chest strap to the harness system. And I have a max position razor shell, or clam shell, uh, I can't remember which one it is. And this is where my multi-tool sits when it is put away in my bag, so it's not easily um, available. So as you can see, it's quite well packed out. So the back section then, we have where the sunglasses case is, these are my more readily available items. So I have a AAA battery, which goes to the LED lenser um, torch, the P3. I have my Petzl headlamp, 
This is the one with the core battery pack, so rechargeable. I have another core battery pack, rechargeable battery. I have two 18650 4000 milliamp batteries. Uh, they will become apparent when we get inside. A Petzl e light with my um, earphone kit in there. It's just a nice solid case to protect my earphones. And uh, I've put the actual head torch somewhere else. Some lip seal uh, with cocoa butter. It's quite a good healing Vaseline and a mini bit lighter. So readily accessible items. In the back section, this is the hydration bladder section, three litre capability. In here lives my iPad mini in this bottle box case. Again, I use this for work and play. So now what this leaves is the inside section um, and I'm going to move the camera so we can get this all in frame. Okay, so with it opened fully like a clamshell, uh, this is how I actually tore the strap um, from its um, stitch in there. Hopefully uh, that won't happen again. I've gone over with some Kevlar thread, so I'm hoping that will uh, sort that one out. So it's divided into three sections, top mesh, bottom mesh, and then main compartment. There is a slip mesh at the back, which uh, we go through at the end. So in the top one then, rather than getting it all out, I've got spare charger, cable, in-car charger, auxiliary lead, stuff like my passport, travel money, lots of different uh, types of cash in there for different places I go, mainly euros, USB pens, ear defenders, a kit for my torch with some silicon grease, a monocular sharpening rod, ceramic, that sort of thing, so bits and pieces. That's just all bundled in there. And the bottom half is my hygiene section, and it is color-coded with this carabiner. So if I tell someone where I have some wipes, then they know where to go. I've got some sun cream, a small towel, lots of packs of tissues, because it can be used as toilet roll, a toothbrush and toothpaste, and then the hygiene wipes in the back, and a mirror, sorry. That's that section. The torch then is a Nightcore P12. The only modification I've done is put some Solus tape on it, just in case it's dropped. It has a lanyard loop there. The, it is very bright, has strobe, and it runs off the um, 18650 batteries that I have in the top. This actually has no batteries in it whatsoever. Saves the button being pressed when this straps down and it's in my bag. So, torch in there. Again, this is used for my job. Have a rugged outdoor Bluetooth speaker. Again, Solus tape on top and bottom there, just because I do put it down in the dark, so I'm able to find it with a torch uh, that's strapped on the front or that's in my pocket. We have my High Five Squeezy 750 milliliter bottle. I use that on a regular basis. Ban, uh, sorry, balaclava. Helicon fleece watch cap. Love this hat, very warm. A Helicon Tex Schmarg. Really handy to have. I have an entry 
an escape kit in here. Have a shroud mini pry bar, a lift key, and a square key. Anyone in the UK or anywhere else that uses these, you'll know how useful they are. They are useful in my day-to-day -day job as well. I do carry extra lot of keys, which we'll go over at the end. That's in this pouch. I do have another one here, which is, uh, there's a difference there with the Grimlock and the two tag ties. This is so that it can go on my belt. It's a fire lighting kit. It's for the woods, for any sort of situation I need to light a fire. Plus in some of my jobs where I'm contracting, we have a fire lit. So I get on with that task. Have a battery charging kit. So iPhone cable, a micro USB, a mini USB, an adapter kit for the VHO Pebble. I have an in-car charger um, fob at the bottom. And in here I have another folding plug. Have another one in that top zippered mesh pouch there, just in case. I take this out and leave it anywhere. I've got a way of charging my phone and mini iPod, uh, iPod, uh, iPad. Sorry. Some sunglasses. A small food pack. Cliff bars. I've actually eaten a few of these. I need to redo these. Some. Electrolyte tablets, again for my bottle, some glucose tablets, some coffee, some chocolate, um, some Skittles, so sugar. The SOL sport utility blanket, it's a good casualty blanket as well. In here I have hat gloves, two buffs and a large bandana, one of my green large bandanas. My stainless steel mug with the fold out handles and the SOL bivy. Some hanks of paracord which have gone from 50 foot probably down to about 10 foot there. We we'll use this quite a lot. And that's in there. In the back then, two extra strong cable ties. Another carabiner for the um, climbing tape or rescue tape that's in there. A spare cuff key. Another capsule with a five pound note in. And I have a ground cloth, which is a large contractor bag. And my Fossils folding bowl. And again, all of this gets used. It's not just in here for the sake of it. Everything to used. And it all fits in here. Really nice and flat. And there is loads of extra room there. So the extras that I do bring with me sometimes, depending on where I'm going. My Ben Orford folding knife. I like taking this as an extra backup to my multi-tools. I've got the Anchor Astro Pro. I think this is the 3000 milliamp. This charges my laptop, my iPad, my iPhone, my speaker and any other electronics I've got on me at the time. And then I've got this little sewing repair kit, which I chuck in when I go to certain jobs.